now, Dr. Neal, start with one of your signatures. Out. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll hold it this way and keep in mind I'm going to have this handy chart on um, Blackboard and it's a lot of lines all at once, but if you just follow the direction that the thread is moving through the signature, these little arrows can remind you which way your thread should be going around the other, <laughs> the rest of your thread, how to make that consistent chain. So here I am, I'm on my second to last signature. Let's say I'm on this one. Well, it's the opposite of what we did here, just because it's a different number of signatures. Um, so I'm getting, I'm near the end, so here I am coming through, let's just look at this one to do this, because otherwise we'll, we'll, we'll be going backwards. Um, so I'm coming through the, pale yellow work. I'm coming through the signature, I just came out right here, so I, I'm, I've done all of these, I came through the signature, I tied my knot back in here, and I came out here, and now I'm gonna go around and back in, and then through here, around, through down below, and then instead of catching the next signature, I'm gonna skip over it and go to the cover. So I'll show you that now, okay? And you'll be able to refer to this if you need to or if it helps to have the diagram. Um, some people like having it laid out, other people like seeing it in, in, in action, in living color here. So. Um, so here, I just came out of this one. Um, I need to go around, so I'm going in the direction of travel, so I go this way, into my space between my lower signature and the one that I'm adding. Here it is. You don't have to, but I like to pull it tight here before I go back in. Um, and like I said, the more the more you're sequential in your steps and pull the cord or the string all the way through, the less likely you are to get and back in to the signature here. Okay, and that makes my chain that you're seeing all up and down the the vine rope here. Whoops! Unless you miss your Miss the center. All right, there we are. So here we are back to where I was just with my knot. Now this will cause a little more swell um, than I would have had if I hadn't had to splice my um, line. You won't notice it with fine string um, like the, the 25 gauge, but with this heavier cord that we like to use for coptics, you do tend to get a bit of, you know, a pretty substantial knot when you're splicing. So anyway, and now I'm going to go out this last one, okay? Um, so this is the end of sort of my text block. Um, so I'm going to go out this last one. Now, if I was, if this was the last text block and I was just going to add the cover, um, I would go around. Uh, sorry, from the inside. Yeah, I always go from the inside to the out when you get to the end. So I go around the outside here. I go up around the cover. Up around the cover, um, and just and then around the cover, come back out here and go back into the same last signature, and just do a second line of string. Come out here, go around, and so on. And that's the basic, um, simplest way to do it. It just give, and ends you up with two layers of string in your last signature. So instead, I'm going to add one more signature that's, that's not stitched. 
I'm going to go over that signature, and this is where it's a little harder. So um, let me see here. A little, something to prop it up so it's easier to see. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, well, I'll just hold this one. So instead of, so I'm going to skip over that the signature, the extra signature that I added, and do the cover now. So the cover is just the inverse of what we did when we started, around the outside. This is the part where I have to hold it this way so it's not visible. So I'm going to round the cover. Around the. Ooh. Hard to do this vertically. Around the string. This is the same operation we did with all the signatures, right? To make that chain. Okay, right? And now, because I have this, um, make sure you take out the tension here. Um, the, the downside of doing it this way with the extra signature is that it's real hard to get it to. Um, to get it to, to be tight, so it'll be a little floppier. Um, and then back in the hole of the of the signature, the extra signature that you, sorry, um, back in the hole of the extra signature that you've added. Um, there's my hole, I go back in, open up that signature, and now I have a signature to move my thread in down here and now it's just the signature that you did the, the pattern that you did before so down here out through the hole of travel, okay. right, down the, the lower signature, oops, put it back up, in, around, so now I'm going, So now I've locked it down, and now instead of going back in the hole in the signature, um, I'm doing my uh, I'm doing my cover stitch here because I'm just repeating what I did the next one down. Skip over this signature, go in the cover. Do line up your, um, you know, if this is crooked, now is a great time to kind of just kind of cinch it over a little bit. Go around your thread, okay? So here I just came out from below my cover. Our chain. There's our chain. And now I can go in the hole 